Now we will teach you the positive move, and the way we will teach you is to show you what the best hitters in the world do. If you want to be a great hitter, see what the best hitters in the world do. Here we go. Mike Trout. If you notice, we have a circle on his belt buckle, red dot. We also have one for Joey Votto. We're going to go with Mike Trout first. Pretty much the gold standard when it comes to hitting. Uh, when it's all said and done, he's probably going to be pound for pound the best hitter that ever existed. So here we go low. Let's take him to heel plant. As you notice, as soon as Mike Trout went forward, you see the dot is back. So the dot was in his belt buckle. Now it's in the back of his hip. So he went forward. He went forward. The dot was here. Now it's here. So he didn't stay back. Mike Trout never stays back, OK? Another thing that I want to show you, hip inside of knee, knee inside of ankle. Hip inside of knee, knee inside of ankle. And look how symmetrical that bottom half is. And if you notice, his belt buckle disappeared a little bit because he got into his glutes to load his hips. Now we're going to come to Joey Votto. Same thing. But, uh, he's got a dot on his belt buckle. I'm going to go to heel plant. Dots behind him now. Joey Votto doesn't stay back. So you're looking at two of the best hitters in the major leagues in the world, and they don't stay back. So why are you being told to stay back? It's wrong.